Halloween. Thank you for joining us on Halloween. I'm Cindy. And I'm Anitra. And, and together, together we are I Spy Queens. Queens. Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Halloween to you. We are coming to you with a jury hall, vintage hall madness. That's what I'm going to call it. And let's get into it. Here's Cindy. <laughs> so we have some goodies for you today first I have this box that I found be blessed and thankful no it's not really Halloween but it's got the pumpkin and the fall theme on it so let's find out what goodies are inside ooh all I see is newspaper uh oh <laughs> But I'm pretty sure newspaper equals goodies, goodies, goodies. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's in the newspaper. But first, now I norm I have my normal rings on, but I have this Halloween bracelet on. It was friend mail from Doug of Vintage Boutique Cali. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> so let's get to the newspaper. <laughs> so, you know, our color is purple and we love our shoes. So, we found this beauty. <laughs> With rhinestones. It's purple and white. It's got rhinestones all over. Yep. So, that will be added to our shoe collection and our favorites and our favorites <coughs> next we have a brooch which has faux pearls and rhinestones gold tone and it is a monet i don't know if you guys can see that maker's mark right there but that's a pretty and we have staying with Halloween. We have the bears, the bears, the bears, <laughs> and they're all ready for trick or treat. Them. And we have this brooch, which is a pumpkin and straw and wire. It's wood. That's pretty. And we have these sterling silver. Earrings. Post. Earrings. Trying to hold them up without them sliding. There's the mark right there. So, those are sterling silver. And that's a fave. And lastly, in my little box of goodies, is this masquerade masses with <coughs> roses silver tone um and it's a jj Ooh, that's a nice focus <laughs> nice focus so and yeah so i think that's a fave for me too but and so that is my portion oh i forgot about my box uh, my box i sat over here we have a Wedgwood England uh, 1759. It is a gold tone known as 
the dancing hour dance hour necklace and there's the back of it let's see see if it'll cooperate I can take it out the box for you guys And there's the tag right there. It says Wedgwood. Oh, I think it's backwards. Yep. Come on. There. There you go. That's very pretty. So that include concludes my portion of the video. And I'm going to turn it back over to Nitra, so she can do her part. So, bye. Here's Nitra. <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Here's my nails for tonight. Here's my jewelry for tonight. And here's my ring for tonight. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. I got a lot of goodies for to show you guys today. First, I'm going to show you this Victoria's Secret purse that I found at the thrift store for $5.89. And it is brand new. So it has the regular tag on it. <clears throat> Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's two-parted. So you can... um open it from this way and go into it that's pretty cool and then it opens up like that so that I like that and I don't know I might keep this I don't know I'm not sure I got enough stuff as it is but it's a very tempting especially for Christmas is coming up and New Year's and everything which I don't know where I would be going but it's pretty. Next we have, I got this at an antique store. A couple of ones that we go to. And this is an oldie. I'm not sure correctly, but I think it's an Emmy. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's an old one. If anybody know of this, please let me know. But it's one of those hats. I swear those ladies used to wear when they used to ride the trains. It's got this pretty um, vintage old hat clip or pin or whatever, whatever they call it. I'm trying to get the camera focused. I liked it. I like old things. But it's cute to me. So I got this. One Halloween I'm going to dress up in the 1900s or something like that or 50s. I think this hat is from the 1930s, I'm thinking. Let me know if I'm wrong. Then I have this. And I think for sure this is from the 1930s. Or the 1920s. It's an old girl. She's an old girl. This is how she looks. And you open her up. She's a little bit worn, you guys. She's an old mama. She's peeling. Her hair is falling out. <laughs> but that's how it look. And it claps. I look on the back. A little strap that goes to her I like it I like it I like it I like it got that and then I have this Elizabeth Taylor Ooh. Voila. purple and gold and the clear 
rhinestone diamond. And that's how it fits. And let's see what size it is, you guys. This is she big mama is coming in at a eight, a size eight. That's how she looks. That's how she looks. And I think it says, um, where's my loop? I think it's got, it's got the, um, Elizabeth Claiborne symbol and it says, yeah. huh? Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor, I'm sorry. And it says China with the symbol of Elizabeth Taylor of what the box has inside. That's what the symbol is inside of the ring. And I think it comes with, comes with the little book too also. What does that say? Come on, zoom in. <coughs> and this camera. There we go. There we go. That was a beautiful find. It's especially still have the original box. Because you always find things and they always missing the box. And people don't know when you're reselling, it makes a big difference when you have a box or paper to some items because sometimes the boxes go by themselves of certain pieces of jewelry. Okay, so we got Elizabeth Taylor out of the way. And then I have this jewelry bag that I found from the antique shop, which I didn't see too many that I cared for. But I seen something in here that looked like it maybe was a slave bracelet, which I love. So that's why it attracted me to this bag. And it was $7. And it's supposed to have six bracelets, five pairs of earrings, and six necklaces. Let's see what's inside. They taped this thing down real good. I'm just going to cut it because I don't have time to fight with it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what else? Something fell out of there. They're stuck in there. Oh, since that jumped out. We have a leaf. Like it was a pendant or something. Two. Or a charm, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he said it's another one. This almost looked like a marijuana leaf. Yeah. I'm not trying to be funny, you guys. I don't know if I should be saying that on YouTube, but that's what it looks like to me. A symbol. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I found that I thought was in there. And this kind of stone on um, this almost reminds me of it kind of looks like a robin egg robin egg or a turquoise to me but i don't know exactly i don't think this is real but i love slave braces i kind of want to get me one made i'm gonna put it on that hand just to it's a small one no it's adjustable no is it yeah it's adjustable no, i'm seeing the, the mm -hmm. The there chain is kind of short, too. No, uh-uh. It's actually mm -hmm. the right size. You just um, adjust it to how you want it, which the adjust thing is right there. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to put it on, I don't think it would fit that finger, but maybe that finger and then oh, okay. you hook it like this. I ain't never worn one, so. Yeah, I love them. I have a whole I'd bunch. I'd like to have one. But I never cute, cute, cute. But I don't think this is real. But it's a nice um, costume piece, nevertheless. Yeah, the little loop. Oh, it's the chain. Chain is magnetic. Not the bracelet. No, the bracelet's not magnetic. But I will 
test it and let you guys know that that is a fave for me. Then we have this cuff. It looks like it's kind of like a uh, what do I, like a metal cuff. Copper. Like a metal, metal and copper, yeah. Copper color. Yeah. Or bronze. And your bubble All right, so we got this. I don't think um, there's a maker mark on it. <clears throat> then we have another bracelet, that, a clamper that looks like it's worn gold tone. So that will definitely go into crafts. Then we have this necklace. Yeah, almost like bubblegum balls. Or big old fat silky disco balls. Silver tone. This looks like it's in good condition too. I don't think it has a maker's mark or nothing, but nevertheless, it's pretty all the same silver tone then we have another cuff that looks worn also it's got some weight to it too it's heavy it's heavy yeah that it's a magnet in the in here in the inside of this right there on each side Right there and right there. I don't know if... Sometimes this looks like to me one of those stress, um, soothing type of bracelets. Or maybe you're supposed to... You can squeeze it together to clamp it down. I don't know. But I'll test it. Um, then next we have a wooden or plastic, one of the two, necklaces. Tannish, kind of brown beads, a little bit worn black beads. I think I'll put that in crafts. Then we have a gold tone bracelet. What do they call these? I think a bango, a little mini bango. I think this is a, a costume piece, too, yeah. Uh, next we have a pair of earrings, gold tone with um, diamond crystals. No makers. No makers. And next we have a, this is pretty, a tannish brown and peachy color choker necklace with a gold clasp gold tone clasp that's pretty looks like they see through I don't think these are glass these are plastic it's pretty though next we have a gold with a barrel clasp. Painted. Yeah, it's painted. With the uh, silver tone beads in the middle. <laughs> barrel clasp. And then next we have a dice bracelet, I call it. That's what it looks like, dice. Silver tone stretchy dice bracelet that has some wear. I like to shine on it though. And next we have this. This is a pretty piece right here. It looks vintage. Mac choker necklace. Oh, come on. Oh, and it's got rhinestone missing there. And rhinestone missing up there. 
and one right there. It was pretty though. I like the the way it feels. Yeah. I don't think it has a makers on it. Nope. Nope, no, nope, nope. I'll probably put this in crafts. It's heavy, too. And last but not least, we have um, earrings on a card. All gold tone. And the pearls or whatever things that was inside of this one I'm missing on each different earring and then the squirrely ones that got wear it's wear on all of these pretty much I don't think they got a designer name on the back of either one of them just by the way they look just some costumes so I will put all of these in crafts. And you guys, we also have craft, craft lots that we sell. And we also have mystery lots that we sell. I want to say um, our mystery lots are about five or six pounds a piece. And our craft, we got this big old giant craft box right now that's ready to go. That's got 17 pounds worth for wearable and craft jewelry. So if you guys are interested in that, please email us at Mississippi Lady42 at gmail.com. Or hit us up on Instagram at i.spyqueen. Thank you very much. And if you see anything that you're interested in other than other than I gotta keep other than the hat and the purse, please email us or timestamp us. And we're going to show you our favorites. Here is a favorite. Oh, we should have put it on the board that way we can lift it up in case they want to see it. Uh, 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 uh. Let me think. Let me think. Because we are not ready today, y'all. We'll just go ahead and put it down. I'll just zoom the camera down. The shoe. The slave bracelet. I like that piece. That's pretty. Oh, we're in. It's Elizabeth Taylor. And I like my Victoria's Secret. And that is our favorite, you guys. Let us know which one was your favorite. Please leave us a comment and a like button on your way out. Until then, stay safe. God bless. Have a good night, a good morning, a good day. I Spy Queens out. Bye-bye. I Spy. I Spy.